because there's so much of it, we don't realise how important and unusual water is. Well, we do realise how important it is. There are a number of things that are rather strange about water, one of which is that for such a light molecule, it shouldn't really be a liquid at room temperature, although there is a reason for that. Also, it has a skin on its surface, unusually thick surface tension, and when it freezes, it actually expands. And all of these things are a bit odd, but we don't realise they're odd because we're so used to it. The question arises of whether water is actually necessary for life. Obviously on this planet, the life that we're familiar with needs water. There is also a sense in which another form of life could easily exist without water, and that is, for example, if we were to invent machines that had all the characteristics of living things but were made of metal, and released them into the environment and they went on to reproduce themselves and so forth, they wouldn't need water. But what I want to talk about is life that's based on chemical reactions, and that's where I'm going to go with this. The question is, what could exist apart from water, and what are the roles of water? Well, one of the things that's important about water is that it's a good solvent, and it is both acidic and alkaline at the same time, which is a fairly unusual property, or no, not a unique one. Because of that, it can participate in a large variety of reactions, and it can also dissolve a lot of things. Another thing that it allows to happen is if oil goes into water, it doesn't mix, and it can form into globules. And these globules are the physical basis of living cells. It's also important that it expands when it freezes, because when it expands when it freezes, it moves to the top of a body of water rather than sinking to the bottom. Considering the other options out there, there are clearly going to be plenty of moons and planets with oceans that are not water on their surface. For example, Titan in our solar system has methane oceans. But the substance that is most normally considered as an alternative to water is ammonia. Now, ammonia melts at minus 70 odd degrees centigrade and boils at minus 33 degrees centigrade. So it's the zone in which ammonia it can exist as a liquid in this solar system is entirely outside us and it's probably from about the distance of Mars to somewhere in the asteroid belt. However, under higher pressure, it can exist much closer to the Sun even than this planet is because its boiling point at a maximum is 132 degrees centigrade. Ammonia is good because it is also polar, it is also a good solvent, and it, but, and it has a couple of disadvantages, one of which is that it does, obviously, like most substances, contract when it freezes, and that means that it will sink to the bottom, and uh, oceans made of ammonia would tend to fill up and freeze over, freeze under, in fact, and make um, life impossible. Another difficulty is that it doesn't have much surface tension and the globule effect that you get on with our kind of water is not going to be present with ammonia or is less likely to be present. So you're talking about life which is not based on membranes, although maybe that is possible. And what I actually think is quite promising though is sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid is present on a number of other bodies in this solar system or in them. For example, Venus, Mars, and Io all have a lot of sulfur compounds in their composition somewhere. And sulfuric acid is, um, has got a very large liquid temperature, liquid phase. So it melts at 10 degrees centigrade and boils about 300 odd. And under higher pressure, it boils even higher. You're talking about like temperatures like the temperature of liquid aluminium. So you've got a huge range there under which sulfuric acid will be liquid. And obviously it's a good solvent because it dissolves everything. And I think it's also interesting that it's widespread in, appears to be widespread in the universe. So I think there will be a lot of bodies on which sulfuric acid will be widespread. To look at this planet from the point of view of either an ammonia-based life form or a sulfuric acid-based life form makes this place look quite hostile. If ammonia is the solvent on a particular planet or moon, then to that aliens who live on that planet, this planet is going to look like it's covered in boiling hot acid and also has a corrosive atmosphere high in oxygen. And that is not the kind of like life, not very friendly to life. From the point of view of the sulfuric acid-based life form, 
this planet is freezing cold, or perhaps a little bit above freezing, and is also covered in alkali. So it's like a planet that's covered in caustic soda solutions as far as uh, sulfuric acid based life forms are concerned. So basically I think you could possibly have ammonia based life forms, but I think it's actually probably a lot more likely that when you looked out of the solar system you are going to find that there are quite a lot of planets that are covered in sulfuric acid oceans, are much hotter than this planet, probably have very flat land because it's all being dissolved by the sulfuric acid, but have very salty oceans and quite a lot of life on them which uses sulfuric acid. A possible, it's possible that ammonia based life forms can exist as well, but I actually think sulfuric acid is much more likely. And I think that's what people would find if they went out into the galaxy. So if you like this video, please rate, share, comment and subscribe. If you dislike it, please tell me so I can improve and I'll see you tomorrow.